I got absolutely destroyed. What rank is that guy? 6,000? In the world? Well, damn. Y'all, I am so happy today. Then again, when am I never happy? I feel like every single video that I post has a reoccurring theme of happiness and positivity. Should we open up some rare supply drops? Let's do it. Why not? Here we go. What? Double epic? Is that is that rare? I don't know. That's I I I don't I don't see that very often. That's actually pretty sweet. I will take it. Dude. I just got the I storm storm for the SVG. Holy guacamole! I'm still on the hunt for the butterfly knife. One day I will have it. One day. So let's talk about what happened today. I feel like I've said this over and over on my channel, but if you guys don't know, I am the president of a gaming club at my college. Whew. I'm still super smiley. Today is a wonderful day, but it made me a little, a little salty. So like I said, I am the president of a casual collegiate gaming club. I haven't really talked a lot about my gaming club, but basically the premise of the club is you bring in whatever you want to play, whether that be uh, Smash Brothers, Mario Party, uh, Mario Maker, anything like that. Mostly Nintendo games, to be honest, but we play whatever is brought in and we all have fun. Honestly, it's a really great club for people who are just coming to college because, you know, you don't really have a lot of friends and what better way to make friends than to go to a gaming club, you know? When I was an incoming freshman in college, I did not have any friends and I decided to join this gaming club and I felt like I was at home. I was surrounded by a bunch of nerds and... Now, two years later, I'm the president of all of them. I don't know how that happened, but it did. <laughs> My main goal with the club is to... Pro My main priority with this gaming club is to provide an outlet for nerds to play video games and to hang out and have fun and make friends. Basically, I want it to be the same way it was for when I was a freshman. And why do you exist today? Sorry, I don't mean to rage, but I'm just not having shotguns today. Normally, I don't care, but today, mm-mm, nope. But like I was saying, my main goal with this club is to provide a safe haven for nerds who are coming into college and don't really know where else to go to make friends. Anyways, there was this one nerd in my club who goes by the name of Sierra, but I always called her Charmander Lady because when I first met her, she had like fiery red hair and she was wearing a Charmander dress, so I always refer to her as the Charmander Lady. I think she was a freshman or a sophomore, but she was only in our club for a semester because she ended up having to transfer. Made me sad, she was a sweet little thing too. Anyway, she ended up reaching out to me on Facebook and messaged me about her experience with my club. Honestly, this was one of the most heartfelt messages I've ever received, and it made me so happy. I will go ahead and read some of it to you. She said, I am no longer attending college and therefore I cannot be a part of the club. However, I really want to stay in touch with you. You were the first person in a long time to not make me feel like some crazy weeaboo. I just learned what that word meant. You made me feel normal and welcomed. For the first time since coming to college, you made me feel happy. Oh my gosh. Because of you, I learned an important lesson. It's okay to be yourself. It doesn't matter who's opposing you because they simply don't matter. All that matters is that you're happy and you're your own person. I'm not going to read the whole message. She also goes into talking about how I've inspired her to start her YouTube channel again and it's just... Oh my gosh. As the president of a gaming club, that is probably the best message I could have ever received. To know that somebody felt accepted when they came to college and happy with themselves, it just, it warms my little heart. It made me so happy. <laughs> I achieved my goal of helping somebody embrace their inner nerd and really express who they are. That just makes me so, so damn happy. <laughs> Sorry, I had to get that off my chest and talk about it because it just, it's all I've been thinking about today. I got this message a couple days ago, but I still can't stop thinking about it. It makes me so happy. I also did some advertising for my club today. We had a club organization fair and we got to set up a poster with all our club's information on it and you could just see people's faces light up as they were drawn to the poster and they're like, there's a gaming club here? Really? That's so exciting! And you could just see them be so happy and just feel accepted and just really excited to go to the meetings. I just really hope that these incoming freshmen will have the same feeling I had when I joined the club, of just nerdiness and acceptance. And I hope they make lots of friends too. Well, I just wrecked unintentionally. <laughs> oh, I love that good game gesture, that's so cute. My number one tip for anybody who's going to college, join a club. You'll be happy, you'll get out of your dorm, you'll make friends, just join a club. Wait, I got wraps? Okay. Okay then. I think I might end up going follows this game, y'all. I'm 21 now. <sighs> I tried so hard. <laughs> what 
the hell is that? What is that? What is that? I don't know. Okay. At least I went 30 and 1, I guess. Ming. Also, another tip for college, which may sound a little counterproductive, is bring a gaming console. For my first year of college, I didn't have a gaming console, and honestly, I was pretty depressed. Sometimes after a long day, you just want to play some Call of Duty, especially since I was wanting to do YouTube, but I couldn't. It was really... I just really put me in a bad mood. It kept me in a state of pretty much being completely unmotivated and honestly, I almost flunked out. As long as you have some form of self-control, I highly recommend you bring a gaming console because it makes you happy. You gotta work hard and you gotta play hard. All I did freshman year was work hard and it made me really sad. You gotta play hard too. I found ways around it, of course. I ended up going to the club meetings and making really good friends and eventually becoming the president of the club, but you know, Still, you gotta, you gotta work hard and you gotta play hard. There's nothing quite like playing COD in the comfort of your own home. So as long as you have some form of self-control, I highly recommend you bring a console. But to be fair, if I did bring my Xbox to college, I wouldn't have joined this club and I wouldn't have become the president. So, I mean, everything happens for a reason. And the message that I got earlier just... So rewarding. It was so rewarding. I guess we'll end this video with one rare supply drop. Go. Butterfly knife, go. Welp.